What's up guys, it is Badger and I am back with a game, a second series of you guys. So game one, second series. Easy, so a lot more action might happen here with the Banelings. But spawning into the bottom right hand corner, this is a week one game, so it is on Catalyst LE. The green Zerg, the Protoss, plug the extractor trick. And it is Timoy. Timoy? We'll go with Timoy, Timoy. Timoy sounds right. His opponent in the top left hand corner. The pink Zerg pieces. Oh, it's from HTX. It is Cooper Jr. I believe there should be one more series after this, guys. So, put that for you. Cooper is going to go ahead and throw down. Both players opening up in a pretty standard kind of 3D ZVZ style, I guess. There's no quick third, but they are going hatch first. So they are kind of going to mirror each other out. The pool faster for T-Boy, however, as it has started up. Now, that could be a bit of a problem here for Cooper Jr. As... He won't have Lings out as soon as Team Boy would. Yeah, the pool's almost half done already, so this could be a very interesting game to kick things off with. The pool just now started up for Coop. Team Boy's Hatchery is going to finish up first as well, so he's going to be a slightly ahead here in the ZVZ in terms of getting Army out, getting his base is saturated, getting his gas, his tech. Which he should also be ahead here in speed as it should start up right now. Boom, speed. There it is. Metabolic boost on the way. Called it. Now, let's see what he does with the drones here. If he's going to pull the drones off the gas. Or if he's going to... There for banning purposes. Now, I imagine he's still got them here, so he might just keep them here. For that very purpose of making a banning nest. He is kind of keeping his lings back, keeping them hidden. Where is... Bonnie Pool is now done for Coop, so he does have some time to catch up here, get some links out, get the Queens out. Team Boy going to go ahead and send a couple links out. He's going to keep some back home for defense. Beat about halfway done. These are going to be scouting links, so you might see them pick off a drone. You might not see them pick off a drone. But he is going to go ahead and make his way out across the map. Team Boy going to keep your back. Coop does have some defense. Wings at home as well to defend with. That's a cool looking emblem actually. I love how you can make it like float outside. Now if you had a trophy next to that, that would be amazing. And we do have this overlord out here. Going to get the scout. See that there is a drone going for a faster third. Now going for a faster th third and not having the units to defend. Could be a very quick way to lose his EVZ as we do see 12 links finishing up all the production tab there for Team Boy. Bailing Ness is on the way. He has a lot of links on the doorstep of his opponent. These links are going to get surrounded and killed off immediately. And this links one might just be it as he is going to lose the Queen's in perfect position to hold this. And they will be able to stall out just long enough for some links to pop out and help defend. But one Queen is going to fall. There's no transfuse. And just like that, if he loses both Queens. Third queen going to end up falling here too, and Timoy is getting a lot of damage done. There's also queen things and the natural mineral line here. Going for that third base is probably what's going to kill him in the end. A lot of drones are being picked off. The mineral drill over here. The drone lining, the mineral drill here, just to make sure these drones do not get picked off all at once. He's going to pull these wings back. He's already dealt the damage. He's picked off three queens, picked off some drones. He's also picking off some bailings, morphing it in the back. He's going to force the cancel. Will that one finish? He does save it. Coop gonna call up a GG. And just like that, Team Boy got a ZVZ. Bam, done and over, just like that. Team Boy takes game number one.
And we are back, guys, for game number two in the ZVZ matchup. Teamboy pulling off a very good leaning swarm there, getting in right as his opponent through that third base. And speaking of the man himself, falling into the top right hand corner of Black Pink LE. Here we go. Is the green Zerg piece is currently up 1 0. It is Teamboy, who is uh, apparently very hyped to be on the stream here. And in the bottom left hand corner, his opponent, the Pink Zerg, got beat out very easily by trying to play a little greedier, is Coop Jr. And basically, what happened, Coop first game just didn't scout. Like, he didn't look and see that his opponent was building a lot of lings, and he went for a third base. That right there was just enough to say, yep, yeah, that's all she wrote for Coop here. Now, will we see something similar, or will we see. We have Team Boys droning up, and he's going to go ahead and get that hatchery down. Now, will Coop decide to change it up, though? He has yet to build. Send the drone out. Looks like we might just. Well, first, though, it looks like he wants to go hatchery. He didn't throw the pool there at 200. 200 men, so it will be that 17 pool. 17 hatch, 17 pool. 18 hatch, 17. We'll go ahead and get his gas started. He's actually got a second drone. I was like, okay, wait a second. What's going on here with this drone? Why, why is it following his buddy? Go do drone things like mine and morph into buildings. Team Boy going to go ahead and get his pull started as well. Going to get that gas. Now, I do talk about the maps a lot, but we're going to do it again. Black Pink has been changed up. For anybody who has to deal with a Terran player in the future, there is a jump up here that allows a little bit more access in and out of the base. Angry Midget, I am good. How are you doing, man? And Sushi, welcome to the party. It will be one more series after this, if I do recall, guys. It will be Jester Hat week number two. Jester, who uh, kind of fumbled in the game. He had one. All right, now, that's not, it's not Jester's time yet. It is T-Boy and Coop Jr.'s time. Overlord is going to say, yo, man. You look familiar. Deja vu, you look like me. They pass by. Gently float on. Can you believe they actually up the uh, overlord speed. Look how fast it moves now. It almost upped the overlord speed by what? It's like 0.89 now. How fast it faster. What? You haven't seen the Carbots episode about that, you should go check it out. It's pretty good. <laughs> Carbot animations, you gotta love them. Anyway, Team Boy, going to have a couple links hang out here. Going to possibly be used for some events. Maybe some scouting coming up here at these links. Both players getting links. It's actually four links coming out here for Team Boy. is on the way, so it looks like Team Boy wants to be the aggressive player. A couple more links on the way. Might just out here. He's going to keep them back here because Coop Jr. does have an Overlord out to scout for any kind of aggression. Now, let's see if Coop does something similar and goes for a faster third. Looks like he... Yeah, it looks like he might just do that, but he's going to keep that drone back home. The lings are going to come out across the map. Now, speed is going to finish up slightly in favor of Team Boy. Six lings and two queens are on the production tab here, so he should be fine. There is going to be a spine, a couple of spines being thrown down for Coop Jr. as these lings are going to make their way up here. Speed has finished up. Coop's Overlord here. We'll see just that. Oh, yeah, also, it's just, it's just the dancing girl. Another great addition to Blackpink. Funny story is that's actually the uh, Red Elf Dance. Those who are WoW addicts and kind of remember that. He was actually scouting around here. I guess he's looking for a third base or looking for a hidden expansion. Very interesting decision. Knowing his opponent is more than ready to defend, and he did give it a little bit too much time here to defend these. These two spines as phalanx will be more than enough to hold any kind of aggression. It looks like Team White is shifting gears here and going for the Roach Ward in the faster layer. So he is wanting to get into that Roach phase first. So he's trying to skip ahead a little bit. Get past the whole Ling Bling situation. ZBZ usually goes in like two stages. Have Ling Bling and then the Roach Wars and then whoever changes you mute us first. But here we go. Third base is going to come down for Coop Jr. Who is now supply capped after his Overlord was killed. Things here are going to catch this and will pop some defense. If he gets a good connection. Oh my god. Just cringed a little. That, that looked like it hurt. That looked like it hurt. That lost a lot of lings. Take a look here. 16 lings died there. 
the two banelings. I don't think there's a better trade in the early stages of ZBZ that you're going to get than something like that. The two banelings. Actually, going to push the brochures out here from Team Boy. Team Boy, no, he just pulled off all those links. Gonna max out on Broach and move out across the map. Speed and plus one range are on the way. But he will be able to have the upgrade advantage. And now, I don't know how many people have actually experimented with units and seeing exactly where upgrades come into play. On equal upgrades, like 30 links will kill approximately. Like 12, like 30 links to 12 roaches, the links will win. But when plus one range kicks in, roaches will flat out win. That's just how much of a difference, guys, plus one melee will make in any kind of matchup. Or plus one range, plus one upgrades. Each upgrade tier just applies so much more damage. But again, now upgrades are nice and all, but if you don't have the army with it, say your opponent has like 1-1 one, one, and twice your army, you still lose. Sorry. That's the way it goes, because StarCraft is definitely a numbers game as much as it is a strategy game. A couple of Baileys here are going to sacrifice themselves, not really get any damage done. Kind of waddle their way back home, going to detonate on top of these roaches. Plus one range is not done, so if he gets a good wrap around here, Coop will clean up all these roaches. Just like that. Now, is again, now had plus one range been done here before this fight happened, Team Boy easily would have won this. He might have lost all his roaches and links might have been left alive, but he would have traded a lot better. I mean, trading out roaches in general to links is not the way you want to go because that's gas, but still. You will trade at a much more effective rate. Didn't catch this, guys. I'm sorry. The hidden expansion down here in the south. Start building some queens and some drones. I guess he feels he's behind knowing that that third base is down and his opponent does know, know that there is no third for him. So he's going to take his fourth here at his third base. But because this base down here is up and it is being saturated, even if Coop were to move out here, he's not really going to lose too much. He will be on equal base to his pink Zerg opponent of Coop. Now Coop, on the other hand, is spines. He does have layer. There's no thing really coming out of the layer tech yet. So tier two tech not really there yet. No mutas on the way. No hydrogen just yet being built. We do have burrow and tunneling claws coming out for Team Boy. Now this could be fun. He's already got a very good trade. The Banelings. I know we're about to see some burrow play on this oversaturated main base. Also, like, hey, hey, you're oversaturated here. With some drones and the natural. There you go. Figuring it out now. He will send some drones down to his natural base. Now here we go. The Link Flood is on the way. Now upgrades. Plus one range against plus one melee. Go. Now this is where everything will equal back out. Now plus one Carapace is on the way for Coop Jr. So he does. He really doesn't have Carapace yet. He doesn't. He has Burrow, Range, and Roach Speed. Now, upgrades have equaled back out, and again, the same story will happen. If he gets a decent surround on this army, he should end up winning, but there are banelings here to make sure that doesn't happen. The banelings also being traded out here, and Corsa Bow are going to land on top of an overlord. Some harmless splash damage being done to these roaches. Roaches are like lull. Thank it. That does prompt Coop to pull back, though, so now... A little bit more scared of the fact that there is a Roach Ravager with some Bailings here. Yeah, this base down here in the south is my... Where's the Queen? Where's the Queen? Big Mama Queen gonna go for a walk. Lowest walk ever. Realizes the error for Wiz and is gonna turn back around. Go injecting that base. Coming Claws is done. Now, is there any detection out here? Any detection? There is no safety spores in any of the mineral lines. Lair is done and there's no Overseers. His roaches, if he splits them up, can find quite a bit of damage really quickly. Especially if he splits them up. Some Ravager is going to get caught in the back. Lings trying to... Okay, he did trade two Lings. He didn't get as many Banelings as he could have. Getting caught on command move there is not the best way to go. But generally, I always hit an A-click the map when you move. Like, always attack move. That way, if you do lose any kind of army, you will trade out with some units of your opponent. But here we go, is just going to tunnel right up now? Yeah, that's the real question. Does he see this? 
Here's the Roaches. They pop up in their natural base. He didn't see the funneling at all. He's going to jump right into the back of his natural mineral line. And he is going to start to clean up as many drones as he can. Now, he can easily just burrow and leave. As soon as these links show up, there you go. He's just going to burrow and tunnel his way out. He's actually going to go to the main. Overseer and Beer morphed in. These sneaky, sneaky Roaches are going to make their way into his main mineral line. Pop out and start doing even more damage. The Trithical Hooks and Plus One Melee are on the way. He's going to pop out. He's going to immediately clean up this entire drone line. Zero of eight drones left mining. Now he's going to burrow and run away again. Overseer is done, which means he will have to fight his way out of here. But with Plus One Range done, he can easily trade out against some of these Lings. His Lings are going to come up here and start to try and catch this. He's going to burrow once again. Overseer finally joining this army. But too late, man. There's detection here now. Now you're going to have to fight. However, he got some crazy amounts of damage done. If you take a look, I think these roaches die. We'll make sure we take a good, solid look at that. There are some more roaches being tunneled and moved across the map now. He can still find some damage with some of these roaches, but there is detection out. But did he transition anywhere? Let's take a quick look. He has a Hydra Den, so he is transitioning. There are links and Banes on the map, so he's not completely dead to water after losing that roach army. But he did just sacrifice some Banelings in the wrong way, or Lings the wrong way. Oh! oh, oh, oh. I say, are we going to see another nasty Baneling detonation? Will not indeed see that. But careful how you micro this! He wants to engage the Hydras, but he's trying to trade out with the Banelings. That's what he's looking for. So he's actually going to offer the Mineral Line instead. It's going to be even more huge economic damage! It looks like about another six probes there do fall. The Lings are just going to say, Yeah, man, you're across here with no army. All right, I'm going for it. I'll meet you in your base. Coop still thinks he's on two base. There is a third base down here. It's not fully saturated. But will it be the saving grace as these Lings do make their way into the natural mineral line and clean house with his drones? Now he's also going to make his way right up into the main. Start picking off queens. Start picking off drones. And just like that, this series might just wind up tying up one to one here as Coop's army is frantically trying to make it back home. These lanes are just going to find so much damage. That's what should be it. The spawning pool is going to go down. Evo Chamber, even the lair is going to get cleaned up here. And just like that, Coop may have just sealed the series at 1 to 1. But the question is what is Emoy's follow up? He had a very good play with the burrowed roaches there. He will clean this up. He will clean this up. But I think it's just a lost cause at this point as Teamoy. Four drones left mining on the map. Where are these drones? Where are these drones? All right, they're in the south here. They're at this third base location in the south. Friendly trying to get a spawning pool back. Meanwhile, Coop is just going to go home and tech up and get anything he wants at this point, really. He could go straight into Ultras. He could go straight into Lurker, Hydra, whatever you wanted to do right now, man. The map is yours. The opponent's army is making his way across the map, and I does like the way he's going to just reinforce the board links. At this point, I think it's all you really need is lings, some banelings, hitting against his measly 30 armies, so 36 army supply here. Some of that army supply is in queens. Because if lings get a decent surround here, these lings and hydras will not make it out. He is going to do just that. They are going to burrow and try and run away. He's going to get chased down and picked off here. That might be the last of the army you will see from t -Boy. But Bailey's being added on. He's desperately trying to stay in this game. I mean, he has the base mining in the south, so if he can get a decent trade against these lings, then he will be in a very good situation now. In Coop's position, you definitely have a little bit of money, so you should start getting some roaches or something of your own. But Timor's bank, though, Timor's got a lot of mineral banked up. He's just sticking to his guns and going roaches here, but I think at this point, if you just swarm lings, you, I think you win. I mean,. You're trying to use this tech that's got detection all over it, and it's just not going to work out for you. So you're going to start trading out units here. Which in the end is just going to waste resources. He's mainly trying to find a connection with this army, and it could do just that. It will find a pretty decent connection there. These links are starting to clump a little bit, and it's really starting to get tight again. Once again, if these links do connect with these banelings, that can very much easily change this game. As a 50 army supply would just disappear just like that. A coup into a pretty scrappy match actually he still has yet to scout the space in the south all coop has to do is run south to his bottom right hand corner or think hey my opponent has a hidden base maybe only reason he's staying in this game 
this game would be over. Roche is gonna get a very decent or get surrounded here. Going to clean this up, gonna burrow away. He's trying to micro them into the banelings. And that's why I'm talking about the Bailey connection. We'll just swing this game right back the other way. These roaches can easily pick off some Bailings here. But I still don't think it's enough. Teamboy has a bank, but he's not spending it. He needs army. He needs to get these injects rolling and get army out. He's trying to get another base down here. Southern part of the map. But at this point, he just needs army. He couldn't even build roaches. His spawning pool is now done. He's not reinforcing with any lings. Where's his Bailing nest? Hydrogen is going to bleed out. He's going to lose his hydras. Oh, so he's slowly losing tech. You have a lair? Lair is morphing, so he can't tell his overlords to save that. If they can spread creep, they'll save the hydrogen. That was a nasty bailing connection. Because once again, the lings are going to run in here and make sure there's nothing mining. He is going to get the scout. There is a hydrogen in the back that could be picked off. And he's just trying to figure out what is going on. Coop is trying to figure out what is going on. But again, if you look at his vision, if you look at his vision, Coop does not know about these two southern bases. He only knows about his opponent's natural, which is so roughly got a big chunk of mineral there. Big chunk of resources. But Coop is just, he can close this game out so easily if he would just look to the south. You know, start thinking, expo to the top corners. Only place you haven't exposed or to the bottom portions of the map. Or even up here in this section, like you look at his vision, he has not checked either of these locations. And he's really starting to spell it out. He's starting to sniff it and say, "Yeah, there is definitely something hidden around here." And it smells like hidden base. He split his army up and is trading out here with Timoy's army. Timoy, who does have this hatchery up and done, is starting to reinforce with some army. Good. Coop's just going to run in here and jump on top of his natural mineral line. The drones are going to get burrowed. Going to get cleaned up either way because the detection is here. Roche is going to die off as well. It's slowly trickling in here and that should have been the signal man. You just saw all your, your opponent's army come from the south. And you're not you're going to kill this base off and you should go south. Just ignore the army and run south because now you win the game. Coop. Coop man. Do it. Do it right now. Uh, he's just going to finish off his opponent's army. And I think Team Boy is going to not have enough here. He's trying to rebuild some roaches, trying to rebuild some lings, but 14 drones at 38. Yeah, he's finally figured it out. He's good. Coop's going to head south. Just like that, man. Like, Team Boy had this game. That roach play is absolutely beautiful, but in the end, all the roaches died. So you lost your army. Got a nice family connection there, but you lost your army. At which point now, it's been just nothing but lings. Hold on. He said something there. I want to know what he said, but uh... It's something about going roach when you're supposed to. You're not going to have the banes, I guess, or something like that. Seems like he's a little bit salty about that, but that's not going to tie the series up at one apiece, guys. I'll be right back with you for game and number three.
What's up guys, it is Magi and I am back with a third game in this series. The explosive one so far, we had Team Boy picking up game number one very easily with the Link Swarm and picking up the man himself. In the bottom right hand corner, it is the green Zerg pieces of Team Boy. And his opponent in the top right hand corner, voting an Overlord away. Never to be seen again it is the pink Zerg pieces. He also has a series tied at one apiece. It is Coop Jr. Now, will we see any kind of cheddar here? Will it be pork or was it Swiss cheese? Will it be cheddar cheese? Will it be Colby Jack? How about Pepper Jack? As we move into uh, the last series or last game of the series, the week one game. Week one series, so both players are making up their week one. But it looks like they both want to open hatchery first. Okay, so now we could see the gentleman's agreement here. But yeah, man, we've had some pretty good games so far. Keep it that way. You no, know, keep it clean. Nothing too cheeky. The pool did go down a lot faster here for Team Moy, so once again, he will have that advantage in getting the links out first. Now, this happened in game one where he did have pull down first and he did manage to get out and do more damage. Obviously, in ZVZ, doing more damage to your opponent. Killing off the Lings first is the way to go. I guess. It's ZVZ. It's usually just, here's a Bane Ling, Lings explode, game's over. But if you make it past that stage, we'll see where we go. But for now, both players just want to get their hatcheries up. Want to get their Lings out. Want to get their back row game going for here at least a few minutes here. Overlord making its way across the map. The second Overlord just now heading out, so two Overlords are going to float out. Ascension to Ire. A map that's been stuck or keeping around for one more pull at least. Let's see, as a Terran player, I don't like this map. I know a lot of people say this is probably a good Terran map, but I'm not a fan of Terran on this. It's just too big. I don't like the size of it. Things are going to hang out outside of natural base here. Overlord is going to see them leave. Now the real question is just how many more things are going to make their way across the map? Or four things out here to defend. Six now for Coop. Adding on his own links. So both players are playing a very similar game. Links of Team Boy are missing. Where are these links of Team Boy? Some in the back of the base. He did this game one where he hid the lings behind his uh, natural and main. Waited to see if his opponent was going to do anything, and his opponent actually, or Koop up here, actually went for a third base. To see if he goes for a third, or whether or not this will end up exactly the same way game number one did. The lings are actually going to be able to dodge his overlord scout as they go around to the north side and are going to make their way towards his opponent's natural. There's no bailing nest on the way. Okay, Bailing Nest is on the way for Coop. Is the Bailing Nest done for... No, okay, so look at he's going to stick on Lings. He's sticking to Lings. Sticking to the Ling Longs. As he's going to swarm in here and get on top of these Lings. He has a surface area. He has more Lings, but can he clean them up? The Queen is going to be wrapped around on and get picked off. All the Lings are going to get picked off. The drones are immediately being pulled. This is not how you would defend. Don't pull drones to fight. He's going to sacrifice the natural, and he's going to get these Queens in position here. To make sure no links can slip into the main. However, they will end up falling because they do not have enough energy for transfuse. The links of Coop are stuck behind the queens. This one queen is going to fall. The second queen will end up falling here very shortly. The links are trying to plug that hole. Ten more links are popping out and should start to get a wraparound on Kimoy's links here, but he is getting up the ramp. He is killing off his opponent's links faster. That might actually just seal the deal here as he's in the main. GG is going to get called out, and just like that, Timoy. We'll close it out. And Team Boy, just like that, we'll close it out 2-1, to one, guys. And now, I do believe we have one more series here. 